Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Big D Cross. Um, I know it's been a while since we've been on battles, everyone going through. I'm here to share with you some inspiration, um, some things the Lord showed me. Um, back in 2018, we were on here. The Lord showed me this disease coming. Um, I sent you a bunch of information on that, how America was cursed. We talked about that. I want to follow up on that today. Um, number one, um, it was a contract we had either with God to keep that contract and not break it. I think many people today are in a struggle doing their own thing or trying to be their own boss in their head and failing. It's simple, easy, and understandable. We all fail. Well, how how in this horrible time, or is it a horrible time? Of course, death is taking hold, and God bless all of those to heaven, those that died. But the Bible clearly states that when we go through a battle, we have to consider it pure joy because of maturity levels that we need for the Lord. And I think what we're going through right now it's going to mature a lot of Christians that really are Christians, not just the word. And, you know, you look back in some demonstrations of the Bible, you know, when Caesarea came to Deborah. You know, Deborah, if she wasn't spiritually mindful of Caesarea coming on what to do through the grace of God, you know, of course, she would have screamed or panicked or, and he would have ran or did something else, and Israel wouldn't have been able to come out of this. But because she was led by her spirit, she was able to save Israel through putting a little bit of hot milk in his hand, putting him asleep, and sent him on his way. Same thing we're going through in these battles, uh, no weapon form against thee shall prosper. And you have to believe that when you're walking, and you're walking across this water with the Lord right now, and these battles you're going through, and all the situations, that God is already in charge of all this. He knows when and how. He knows the beginning. He knows the end. Jeremiah 29, 17, I believe. But he has all these plans. So, Excuse me. What we're talking about today is for us to be men and women of God, we need to do a part. You should be interceding. You should be praying. Um, you should be reaching out and listening to the Lord cry what he wants. You know, when you've got a virus and tornadoes, those are your signs. Those are easy signs to understand. We need to get on our knees and repent. Ask for repentance. Ask for God to forgive us and all the people around us. Um, so a little bit of today is going to be based on how to get through this battle when you can't. Because a lot of people are struggling. I don't have jobs. Um... We don't have enough to do this. You know, the Bible clearly stated that the Lord would take care of us many times. He said, uh, you know, don't be like the, um, he wants us to be like the birds of the nest. Um, just relying on him daily for our food intake. Um, but then again, in Psalms 1, he says, you know, your tree has to be ripened. You can't go out in these scenario situations and not hold the ripeness. You are the light. You are the binding to the Spirit of God. Now, when you bind, that means you're the splendor of His glory. And there are times where I remember when my grandma had left, it broke like it broke my heart because she was just an innocent, beautiful woman who gave, 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 and never asked. And I always thought about, you know, one day I need to be like grandma. 
I really need to be like grandma. It's good. She just, she poured a heart out and, and, and poured and poured and poured and poured, you know. I never asked for nothing back. And then secondary was my mom to her. You know, uh, they both pretty much on equal basis in that area. So we lead by example. As men and women of God, whether somebody comes up to you um, and they're not right with the Lord or they're in a, uh, a way where they might be going against things in the Bible, you still got to love them. still got to pray for them. You still got to build them up. You know, judge ye not, lest ye want to be judged. You know, so we today we really have to see that this is our battle. This is not a weeping session for us and a negative. It's it's a weeping morning for the people who return unto God. This is the glory of God to be able to reach more because they're more vital to to break down and see the truth now. And this is what we have to look at today, saints. We can't gear in on uh, all these fallacies of uh, Sorio or uh, Soro or uh, Gates or uh, Wuong or all these situations. We have to gear on how many, Lord, are prepared in my highway when I'm walking. Doesn't matter how many, Lord, it matters obedience of the Spirit and taking hold of the contract we made with the Lord and our Spirit. And then what do we get back for it? He said, I'll leave you the comfort of truth. Comfort of truth is where the Spirit is opposition to the flesh. Why? Because the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. There's a lot of things everybody's going through. Um, The most important thing you need to be going through is your walk with God stronger. No matter what situation you're in or what baggage you're carrying or what areas in life this is the time to show the Lord we trust in him this is the time to say God it's always been you we knew this was coming we read it in the Bible over and over about famines disease and sign of the times it's nothing new it's just now's our time Step up as soldiers. Some have more cuts and bruises and can go further. Some have to sit down. But it's our time to push forward and knock over that enemy wall. It's not a time of depression and failure and not going to make it. It's a time of glory. That God gives us opportunity to reach more souls. To cry mercy upon God, upon people, to bring them to deliverance. Is what it's all about. There's nothing in this situation that is negative in our spirit of what we can do for others. I can't control this. I don't know what was behind their ancestry line. All I can do is pray they make it to heaven. But what I can do is understand whom I'm truly standing for. And whom I'm truly standing for take opposition against the enemy. No, uh, we just can't give it for free. We can't give away Christianity for free. The Lord already paid the price by his blood, by his son taking on the lashes for us to have this opportunity today, saints. So we can't do nothing. Adamic nature can't and won't. But the spirit, the soul in us, 
off this flesh realm. It can do all things to Christ that strengthens each one of us daily. But as we go throughout each day, we have to see this as an opportunity. You know, when a job is pitched to someone and they say, you know, I want to offer you an opportunity. Inside, you get excited. You're like, oh, my gosh. Finally, something I've asked for and something I've prayed, and I'm finally getting the opportunity to do it. Well, same thing now. You're getting the opportunity to serve as men and women of God and reach souls that's better than any holiday gift could be because it functions the fact that many souls won't go to pit of Haiti. I give God the glory and I give him the praise in that to these saints because he put it on my heart every day. For a while before this happened, I was giving rocks out. And, of course, I didn't know Clem Clement brought up David and and Goliath, but the Lord put on my heart as well. He said, uh, use rocks. Go pick up rocks and give them to people. So that's exactly what I did. I said, uh, listen, uh, go through a lot of battles and everything. How did David fight Goliath in his battle? And people would say stuff like, I don't know, I don't know, slingshot, something like that. I said, that's right. That's very good. I said, say, but what did he use? He said, I don't know, some kind of rock or something. And I said, I said, exactly, and now you have that same rock to battle your enemy as well. And this was before the uh, virus, so I, I don't know how many rocks he gave out, a good bit, praise the Lord. And we continue to find ways, and this is one of our ways. This is a way of where we can reach souls because they're broke. Now, some of them are at anger points where they will break quicker. Because the spirit is very strong of the Lord. They know they want the same thing that person has. They'll break. But God will show and lead each one of us in all areas of your life. What we must do and how we must do it according to his will. If we go back in the Bible... And we look at, now you look at several areas. Now I'm going to just give you what a portion of the world and what a portion of the Lord is so you have a good understanding. Don't know exactly what the scriptures are, but they're there. One scripture says, well, part of your portion is what? The Lord is your inheritance right here, right now. Now listen, if that's your inheritance right now, does that mean that that's for a reason to be used? To go out and minister as Jesus called his disciples to do. Same way he did. Now the opposition to this is wicked. It says upon the wicked is what? Brimstone, fire, and Horrible tempest is their portion. So if we can pull away that brimstone, that fire, and a horrible tempest and share in our inheritance with Jesus Christ to others, what a true blessing, saints, that will be. That the Holy Spirit in you and through you will bring life back to a dead soul with a living body. Once your soul's dead, so it becomes worldly, it doesn't, it needs that fire back. It needs that fire that Moses saw the first time when he looked at God in the bush and he felt the spirit of God all over him. And he said, yes, God, whatever you will. It's a whole beautiful uh, way that the Lord works things out in us, through us. And uh, for us, you know, uh, many times we can all have excuses, you know. Uh, we can all use uh, areas that you don't know what I've been through, stories. We can use those, uh, or we can just step up, 
is men and women of God and say, this is our inheritance. This is our time. The reason we're here on this earth is to imitate Jesus' walk. Now, there's many people out there crying, mercy, mercy, God. Many people without food tonight. Many people without things. God can work through you, through me, through all of us to build the kingdom of God and keep them from going to the pit of Hades. So, if you in your heart know that your this testimony today from the Lord has helped you and you want this to move forward, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Heavenly Father Jesus, I give you my all. That's right, all. That you will use me for thy kingdom. Lord, allow me to be an instrument, whether spiritually harp, keyboard, guitar, whatever musical, spiritual way that I can touch other souls and give them a chance that you've given me today. Blessed be the name of Jesus, empowered by your glory. I take ownership of that now. In Jesus' precious name, I pray that it will be done. Amen. Well, saints, if you've prayed this prayer, God's going to show you as he's shown me. Hey, this is Big D Cross 4033. And the 133 stands for Jesus dying on the cross. And the one above it means he's the only one there'll ever be. God bless.